Hi and welcome to Create Your Light Pet Photography Challenge. I'm Nigel Dancer and this is Pebbles. I'm usually a landscape photographer, but I'm at home and what I'm gonna do is try the new Nikon autofocus in the 3.0 release and the eye autofocus and get some shots of pebbles, hopefully in the garden and maybe in the house, talk about light, composition, and how you can get some great shots of your pet, maybe a pet dog, pet cat, and some of the top tips that can really, really up your photography with your Nikon Z series. Okay, so there's three things that I think are important when you're doing any type of photography, really. Um, one of them specifically to sort of people and, and pets and animals. The first is light, and I'll talk a little bit more about that and, and some different types of light that you might be able to use. The second, I think, is composition. And composition is obviously important in any photograph, you know, how you put all the bits together. And there's certain things that you can do with pet photography that I think are good, getting low, getting high, getting at eye level, but trying, just mixing it up a little bit, um, trying different fo focal lengths, and I'll talk a little bit about my equipment in a minute. And then the last one is expression and just capturing that expression, um, which I think is really, really important, especially for pet photography. I've had a little bit of a play around um, this morning and I, I definitely think that's something that will help you get a good pet photo. So I just want to talk a little bit about gear and um, a little bit about the Nikon autofocus uh, because the new pet eye autofocus and pet face autofocus is really good. It helps you to track the subject in the frame when you're trying to focus, which is probably one of the hardest things to do with any sort of animal photography is get it in focus. What I tend to do is everything handheld. The lens that I go to most is my 70 to 200 and I like the 70 to 200 f2.8 because it's good for just picking out um, pebbles, compressing the background and also get in some separation between her and the background. So I like that. Sometimes I use my 500 millimeter, but I find that if I'm in the garden, it's just too long. My 24 to 70 is good as well because it's f2.8 and at the 70, sort of 50 millimeter, 70 millimeter end, it's good. Um, I've also got 24 millimeter f1.8 lens, which is filming this, which I find really good as well when you want to get it really close um, and do that wider angle shot and I'll show you that later and then also I, I, I quite often use a 50 millimeter f1.8 prime as well because I think that if you've got a prime lens and you sort of got a, a really low shallow depth of field so just pebbles his eyes are in focus and everything else is out of focus then that helps to separate her from the background and, and really concentrate on that expression so that's a little bit about the three things we're going to concentrate on so let's go and have a look at the first one um, and, and that is light and how light is important. Okay, so one of the things to think about with light is shooting in, in shade. So you can shoot in full sunlight, but it's better to do that at the end of the day when you've got that sort of warm glow. When you've got harsh um, sunlight, you want to try and shoot in the shade and just use the reflected light. So the light that's really reflected off the grass that sort of a light pebbles up here. And, you know, try, trying to incorporate different angles. So here, <laughs> pebbles, I've got treats, so she's trying to grab a treat off me, but what we're trying to do is just get her underneath this, this table here. We might get a little bit of dappled light through the table. Um, and then we've got a nice background. I'm not too bothered that the sun in the background, because that'll be out of focus and it'll create a nice effect. So what I'm gonna try and do is, um, I'm gonna get a treat. Pebbles, come here, come here, pebbles. Come here, come here. Sit, sit, down. Good girl, stay there. And this is when you need good autofocus. Pebble, sit, stay. Okay, so one of the things I, I was saying is, is trying different angles. And in this shot, what I'm gonna try and do is get low um, as uh, uh, one thing and then have a long lens on as well. So I've got my 70 to 200 at f2.8 and what I'm doing is I'm just using just a shaft of, of sunlight coming through here. Pebbles is gonna be in that and I'm shooting and having the shade at the bottom, then pebbles and the sun and then the shade in the background to sort of make pebbles stand out a little bit. And it's always useful to think about that where your light is falling. So one of the things we've found is it's, it's a good idea if 
the person with the tree sort of walks towards camera because obviously then um, Pebbles is going to be looking more towards the the actual camera and what I want to do is probably do something that's a little bit more candid so she's not looking directly at camera but just looking off to the side and hopefully th this will work um, we've been doing this for a while now <laughs> right so try this What I'm going to try and do now is shoot at eye level. Eye level is a great um, way of shooting your dog because obviously you're going to create um, connection with the dog. It's all, always good to shoot at eye level, but also I'm going to have more separation between the background. I'm shooting with a 50mm f1.8 lens, so it's a really shallow depth of field. So you're going to make sure focus is right. And it's overcast now, so the sun's gone in and um, we've got an overcast day, which is a really good time to shoot actually because it means you don't have to worry about um, any shadows or anything like that and it's just a nice soft box on, on everything. The light's really good. So I've just got to get Pebbles to try and sit down here. It should be fun. So we're going to try and get her in this grass here so she's just peeking through. <laughs> it's proving easier said than done I have to admit. It's not easy this. You've got to have a lot of patience and obviously you don't want to tire Pebbles out. So I've been doing these photos over a, like, a period of a week just to have small sessions which is a really good idea. So we're going to try and get her to sit there. So that works really well because she was like eating the grass and we got a little bit of her behavior then as well. And what was really good is the eye pet focus on here tracked it really well. So I'm, I'm really excited about looking at those photos. Okay, so it's good to try different angles. One of the angles that I've been trying today is just shooting pebbles from the top down like this. So the key to this is actually having a few treats. So if I give pebbles a treat, and then I have one in my hand. Pebbles, what's this? And she's more likely to look, <laughs> sit at the camera, and you can get a good shot like that. Good girl. I'm shooting at 24 millimeters at f1.8, and it looks really cool from this angle. Pebbles, what's this? Good girl. <laughs> And if it's raining outside, then come inside. You can shoot some great things inside. And especially if it is raining, then you've probably got sort of cloudy environment outside. So you just need to go near a window. And what I found is if you go near a window and you just get her on a favorite couch or something, she just gets a little bit sleepy. And you can just, it's much easier to take shots of her. So I can just now, I've got my 24 millimeter F 1.8 lens and Pebbles. <laughs> She's seen something out the window. Pebbles, what are you doing? Come here. Good girl. And I can just try and get some that are quite candid. And then the final tip is all about behavior and then trying to get Pebbles doing some funny things. Maybe she's licking a yogurt pot or um, maybe you're out walking and you just have her in front of your favorite wellies or something like that and you get you know, just just trying to get her in her environment or ca capturing the character as well. Now a top tip is um, that was given to me by a really well-known pet photographer called Elkie um, and it was using a squeaker so if I was just photographing her like this then if I just used a squeaker It just gets her attention a little bit and sometimes she, she bobs her head to the side and that works really well um, for just getting a little bit of a different character. Well done Pebbles, you've done really well. Okay so now it's over to you and the top tip is you need a lot of patience and perseverance but you should be able to create some great shots of your pet and I'm really looking forward to seeing them so make sure you share them with the hashtag createyourlight. Good luck. <laughs>